This video is my full Adobe workflow for editing 360 videos using After Effects, Photoshop, and Premiere. I'm your teacher, Kevin Cruz. Now let's get started. First, we're going to want to unfold the 360 video footage using After Effects. Let's open up your SP360 file in After Effects. Now load your file into your timeline. Then you're going to want to go to Effects, Distort, and polar coordinates. Now you're going to go to your polar coordinates effect and select interpolation. Here you'll unwrap your video by switching the dial from 0 to 100 and voila unwrapped right before your eyes. Now head down to transform. Here you're going to reduce the height of your video by 50 percent. Make sure to unlink your videos first. Now head down to Composition Settings, where you're going to reduce the height of your composition by 50% also. Remember, these videos have to be 2x1. Press OK. Now save your composition. Now let's start our Premiere workflow. Here you're going to open up a new project or sequence. Then you're going to want to find your After Effect project where you unfolded your video. Load that into your timeline. You're going to want to change the sequence settings to match the video you just put in. Many of you want to know how to fill in the black hole in the video. Well, I'm going to teach you how to add a graphic to the space. We're going to use the Kodak graphics since they're the ones whose camera we're using. And we're going to fill in that bottom hole. So let's open up Photoshop. You'll find a link to the template I've created in the link below. And once you get your graphic into the template in Photoshop, you're going to want to adjust the size to fit inside of the space. You're going to want to flip it upside down because in the process, this is how it works. If we were going to do the top black hole, we wouldn't have to flip it upside down. Once you've made your graphic fit into the template, you're going to want to hit filters, distort, and polar coordinates. Here you're going to want to convert your image from a polar to a rectangle. Select OK. There you have a top graphic. But this is for the bottom, so we're going to want to flip it upside down and drop it to the bottom. This is what reverses the flipping it upside down in the beginning of the tutorial. So if you just wanted a top graphic, you would follow the same tutorial but never flipping your graphic upside down. You're going to want to save it as a PNG and head back to Premiere. Here, we're going to be adding graphics and music to your 360 video. Now that we're in Premiere, let's find the graphic that fills in the black space at the bottom. Let's add the graphic and make sure it fits. Now that we know that the graphic works, let's move on to some other edits. First, I'd like to center the video to focus on where I want the video to start. So in order to do this, let's get our video and nest it. After you've nested it, go to your effects and select offset. Now with offset, you're allowed to center your video wherever you like. So go to shift center 2 and start adjusting your dial. Now Giorgio is dead center in the middle. Perfect. Now I want to add some music. So, go over to your media browser and pull out your favorite song. Drag your song into your timeline. So now you have your graphic that fits, your video that's centered, and your favorite song. So now let's tidy things up. Extend your graphic across your timeline and shorten your song. I added an exponential fade because I wanted my song to end subtly. I also overlapped the original audio with the new song to get rid of it. Now hit File, Export, Media, name your file, save, and start rendering your cue. Now for your final step, we're going to take your mp4 file, inject it with metadata, and upload it to YouTube. Once you have the metadata app open, find your video. After opening your video, you're going to have to select Inject and Save. Here you're going to resave your new video 
with a unique name that you can easily find. Select Save and OK. Close up the app, open up YouTube, select Upload, find your video, and start your upload. At this point you'll be adding your own basic information the same way you would any other video. After all this is complete, you should have a 360 video ready to share with your friends. Thank you. Click here to see the rendered video. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.